Now back to deal with the big bodies. It's the tanks here. Gets a lot of value out of that primal range. A lot of damage done. Bubble won't pretend against the self strat. Mickey tries to break it open and he gets stacked for his troubles. Here's the transcendence in over the fight though. It's just Mickey in effect out of there. Everyone else is so far away and Chips is just looking on in the background with dismay at the Dallas fuel. A turfed off for the payload here. Overtime is done. It'll be a self destruct that comes in. Oh, with no! an shatter as well, and that's gonna be two. Nomi, Ultra in five, can get down there. The self destruct didn't claim its target, but perhaps it just didn't have to. Cole Lessons now, bit of icing on the cake to remove MG from the picture. No more baby demon stalling available for the Zeb. The Dragons now just shot the pressure for they've got this one, they forced them back. I'm very curious to see what the hell Moth is going to bring to the squad because we've seen players that come in with not a lot of practice do not a whole lot for the team in the case of the Mayhem, but teams that do the exact same opposite like Fissure that gets added into one of these critical roles, Tanker support, and just changes everything. So Shock could be in here for a real treat. Can't survive it, overtime ticking, and it's only Jake between Houston and Defeat. Staying alive for as long as he can, but there goes OT, and there goes the win for San Francisco Shock. They will take the series 3-1. Sinatra is finally playing today, but let's start here with the Shock squad. Well, we know that Sinatra is going to bring in some Tracer play, right? That's what we know him for. So what is Sinatra going to bring to the table when it comes to improving this lineup? We have yet to see, but this guy has been heralded as an almost prodigy status, so we really could be in here for a treat.